so hi guys how are you so i'm going to today share you some uh, important intro questions asked recently those questions i have collected from the various candidates from the friends and those are the real intro questions so in your intro they will be able to ask you the what type of projects you have done and specifically you must explain one of the those projects and specifically they will start to listen what you are saying from the data gathering how you have gathered data how you have created columns initially you should uh, specifically explain what is the object of project and what you want to get the outcome and your problem statement should be very well and decided and after that they will going to ask you how you have done explore data analysis how what about the outliers handling outliers then their formula how you have checked the correlations can you tell how you actually plot all those graphs and then please tell them uh, scatter plot then uh, matplotlib then pyplot and all those and uh, they will going to ask you what types of correlations then their data relations how input variable is related to all those easy to a regression or classification type problem then how you have used which technique why you have decided one type of particular algorithm and uh, what about the encoding which type of encoder you use and reasons behind this and apart from that please try to mention which types of hypothesis you have done what is null hypothesis if there is no change in the variable then it will not going to impact the target variable then we can consider it as a null hypothesis otherwise if, if any particular independent feature is, uh, is making changes in the target variable then it's become a part of alternative hypothesis then what about the prob probability and what is the value of p why you have chosen that p value is less than 0 0.05 then we should reject or accept the alternative hypothesis then they will ask you what type of test you have done such as an or test j test then p test and uh, so many questions so many basic questions then what about the explore data analysis in univariate data analysis multivariate data analysis then what is there are various types of uh, explore data analysis such as embedding method in which you, uh, you are with the decision trees then uh, filter method then wrapper method so in which method what happening you have need to tell very well with explanation and what about the variance inflation factor its formula what is the value of r square adjusted r square when to use uh, root mean square and mean absolute error what is the difference between them and what challenges you have faced while training the model how you load the model and what are the basic assumptions for every model suppose if i have selected the linear regression then definitely everyone knows that there are four five assumptions such as no multicollinearity linearity independence of variable then homoscedasticity then normal distribution of the data yeah those are only we know in theoretical but how you will do in the practical how how will you get to know that data is not a multicollinear or a linear data? what is homoscedasticity how you plot them if you found data is not homoscedasticity then what changes you will going to make then how you check those features are dependent on each other or not how you plot them in the graph how you will handle the actual outliers what is iqr what is intercontinental range what is q1 q2 q3 formula of interquantile outer quartile why you have selected only 1.5 value there and lot of questions are emerging and you should know each and every question answer very well with confidence and uh, i hope you have actually applied those in the world area or real world then after that tp motors logistic regression many of know what is the question of logistic regression and why it's called uh, logistic regression though it's a classification problem then what is it say a uh, equation that sigma equation then what is odd square ratio most of us don't know about that ratio and uh, if you move towards the k nearest neighbor then you should know very well if and distance then manhattan distance then there are other than two there are various types of other distances when to use that algorithm what are drawbacks does it require normalization does logic require uh, normalization what is normalization standardization and all those methods then um, definitely they will going to ask you some decision trees such as random for decision trees 
though we know the theory very well but we should know also the hyper parameters that uh, an estimator minimum sample leap maximum sample size then learning rate then regularization technique handling and values splitting sites and those should know us very well without any uh, issue then difference between banging boosting what is the difference between xg boost and boost and all those hyper parameter of xg boost why it's uh, called that uh, XG boost and uh, why most of using it, what are its advantages, what are its various parameters, it has learning rate or regularization technique, then it handles automatically that NAND values and it has so many advantages and there are also various various hyper parameters. Please note down them and whenever whatever uh, that algorithm you are mentioning in your projects you should know them very well in theoretically and also in the practically then if you are going to tell a support vector machine then what are different types of kernel radial then uh, circ circular type kernel then uh, there is another type of kernel there are so many types of kernel and so many things so this is machine learning then cost matrix difference between classification regression if, regression if they ask uh, classification then precision recall examples then variance by straight off into new spot then residual error true error differences and add so many questions you should know those simple one but what happens though we know in actually theoretically we cannot explain them very well and sometimes we get rejected by interview so, so this is the part related to machine learning questions and some of basic one and those are the questions most of the times ask if you are going to say any projects related to machine learning then it will ask you same such questions again and again and please be uh, very well clear in those concepts and uh, try to understand your projects try to explain your projects very well and uh, Though in the industry we give a lot of time to the projects, but just because of some where, co where our coding is only diverted to a specific point, so we do not get the idea related to other parts of coding. So always try to learn some things, always try to touch or do some practice of other areas of coding and try to improve yourself. In the next lecture, I am going to give you details related to deep learning and computer vision questions and also questions related to natural language processing i will going to cover all those in the next uh, video and i am going to create once again now video in which i am going to explain all those concepts very well thank you if you have any doubt or issue please ask me thank you bye bye